Welcome back to Econ Academy. In this video, I will show you how to download cross-sectional data from World Development Indicators. So, first of all, I will explain what is cross-sectional data. In cross-sectional data, we measure data of two or more economic units at one period of time. So, here we have two or more economic units and we will have only one period of time. Now, what is economic unit? An economic unit can be an individual, a firm, an industry, or can be a country. Well, what is time period? Time period can be an hour, a day, a week, a month, a quarter, or can be one complete year. Now, the cross-sectional data will look like this. Uh, we will have only one period, like this January, and we will have two or more than two uh, economic units that is one two and three and four and these are indicators or we can say that these are variables for which we want to download data this is food clothing and fuel it can be one or it can be more than one now I will show you uh, how to download data from uh, how to download cross-sectional data from world development indicators first of all we will write WDI in google search box and we will click on enter now we will click on this website that is databank.worldbank.org so we will click on this website now this is our website now you want to download cross-sectional data so we will click on this country and a list of countries will appear so as a country is a cross-section or an economic unit so we will select three to four or two or more than two cross sections two or more than two countries to be uh, able to download cross-sectional data so uh, we will select some countries one two three four so we have selected five countries and to be to select this uh, to complete this selection we will click on country again now from here we can check that our country is selected correctly and series and time left now we will click on series the series are the variables for which we want to download data so the series in series we have a list of variables so when we click on series so a list of variables will appear we will select some variables uh, in cross-sectional data we can select only one variable or we can select multiple variables there is no uh, limit to this so we we'll select some three to four or even more variables So we have selected six variables to complete this selection we will click on series again. Now we can check that this series is selected correctly. Now we will click on time. As cross sectional data is in cross sectional data we will have only one period of time. So from here we cannot select multiple to, uh, to download cross sectional data we will just select only one time so let's let me select this 2019 and to complete the selection we will click on again on time now we will click on apply changes so this is our data this is for sweden and we can check this from other country as well now we want to download this data so we will have this download option we will click on download option and we can download this in excel cvs or tabbed txt so i want to download this data in excel format so i will click on excel now we can check it from here that this data is downloaded successfully so this is from today see you in the next video bye for now